How to multiply using strategies. Our objective is we will learn strategies to use when multiplying numbers to find products. Multiplication is combining equal groups together to find a total. So what we'll do is we'll take equal, we'll take the uh, groups that have the same number in them. We will combine them together to find out how many we have all together. There are three parts to a multiplication sentence. Take a look, if you take a look right here, we have the multiplication sentence 4 times 3 equals 12. This first number, the 4, is what we call a factor. The second number that we have is also called a factor. That 3 is a factor. And then the 12, which is our answer, that's known as the product. And the best way to read a multiplication sentence is to read it like this there are three groups of six pieces so we have 18 all together but the first factor tells us that how many groups we have the second factor tells us how many pieces are in each group and then the product tells us how many pieces we have all together the first factor like I just said the first factor in a multiplication sentence tells us how many groups we have here we have four groups the second factor in a multiplication sentence tells us how many pieces are in each group. So here we have three pieces in each of those groups. And the product in a multiplication sentence tells us how many pieces we have all together. We have 12 pieces all together. The best strategy, the best strategy for multiplying numbers is to memorize your multiplication facts. Practice, practice, practice. Spend time learning those multiplication facts so you have them right off the top of your head. You know that 2 times 2 is 4 and 9 times 7 is 63. You have to practice, practice, practice to get those down. There are four multiplication strategies that will help you while you're learning them. The first one is an array. Second would be equal groups. Third one is repeated addition. And then finally, number four are number lines. We're going to take a look at each one of those here. First one, array. An array is a group of objects arranged into rows and columns. The number of rows is the first factor. The columns are the second factor. I have an array here. You see this, uh, we have this, these orange rectangles that are organized together. And you can see that we have one, we have one, two, three rows. And then we have five columns. We have one, two, three, four, five. For a total of 15 pieces in all. Five, ten, fifteen. So we write that as three times five equals fifteen. Or three rows with five pieces in it equals fifteen pieces in all. The second strategy are equal groups. Using equal groups can help with multiplication. The first factor in the sentence tells us how many groups we have, and the second factor tells us how many pieces are in each group. If you look at my picture here, you can see that I have groups of triangles, and I have two groups of triangles, and in each group there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pieces, so two groups of 8 equals 16 pieces in all. Third one, the third strategy is repeated addition. When you when you are using repeated addition, you add the second factor repeatedly. You look at the first factor to know how many times to add it. So here we have three times three equals nine. So we're going to take this second factor right here, this three, and we're gonna add this number, and we're gonna add it three times. So it looks like this, three, plus 3, plus 3, equals 9. Finally, the last strategy is number lines. Using a number line lets you skip count to find the product. The first factor tells you how many jumps to make on the number line. The second factor tells you how many spaces are in each jump. So here on this number line, we have the multiplication sentence 3 times 4 equals 12. So what that tells us is we're going to make 3 jumps, 1, 2, Three, and each time we jump, we're going to jump a total of four spaces. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
and the product here tells us where we're going to land. See, it says first one is move this many times, move this many spaces each time. All right, let's review. Multiplication is combining equal groups together. The parts of a multiplication sentence is, uh, uh, pardon me, the parts of a multiplication sentence are factors and the product. You have, you usually have two factors and then you have the product, which is the answer. And there are four strategies to help with multiplication and they are arrays, equal groups, repeated addition, and number lines. For other videos and ideas, please visit Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade blogspot.com. And if you're interested, this is for teachers and parents. If you're interested in more third grade math activities, please visit teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash Jonathan dash Pearson. And as always, this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.